Gold gets a safe haven boost this Wednesday as tensions between the U.S. and North Korea rise. So how should we invest in this gold market right now? We're talking with the author of Precious Metals Investing for Dummies, Paul Mladjanovic. Paul, thanks so much for being back on with us. Oh, I love being on with, with you and your audience. So well, thank you. Thank you, Paul. And uh, well, it's a good uh, Wednesday here for gold. We're seeing the metal rally on this growing tension between North Korea and the U.S., but safe haven rallies, as we know, are not always long lived. So what's your take? Can gold continue to move higher here? Well, I think it's going to be a stronger time for gold than in prior times, because it's also it's not only the geopolitical risk and other things that are happening in the paper markets. It's also things such as the seasonality. August, September, October tend to be good months for the metals. And I think this time will be no different. I'm looking forward to a strong near term for gold and silver as well. Do you have any targets? Well, I think the last time we spoke, I was mentioning I'd see it going north of 1300. I think it's going to break it during this particular rally coming up. So I'm looking forward to that. And I think silver will make a strong run to 20 and probably higher as well. So I'm excited. I think a good bullish phase is uh, uh, almost upon us. So, Paul, that said, how should people get into this market right now? Are, you know, would you buy the dips? Would you wait on the sidelines? What do you do? Well, right now, I've always told people to be staggering in anyway, because obviously it depends on people's situations, etc. I think it's a good time now to start accumulating on the physical side, such as, for example, Eagles, Maple Leafs, Krugerrands, whatever people's uh, tastes are in. It's the physical bullion who is good and the silver, I don't know the silver eagles, et cetera, and some other things. Those are good for the people who are a, a, a long term accumulators. And obviously, for many folks out there, some of the, the, the gold and silver equities like the ETFs and stocks are probably a good buying opportunity as they've been in the last month or so. So I think it's a good way for, for people to play again. And, I, and for me, I love gold and silver again. As, as, as a great diversification away from paper assets, especially now because the, 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 the stock market is at, is at a high and you see more and more people who were formerly bullish are now much more cautious about the stock market, which means you'll see more money inflows into hard assets like precious metals. OK, well, on that note, you know, you mentioned your bullish gold, bullish silver, uh, but platinum also recently hit, uh, you know, yesterday a three month high. So does the overall precious metal market look right to you right now? Could we see the entire complex move higher here? Oh, absolutely. Many of these things, they tend to move in tandem. And August, September, October traditionally has been a good month for this. More demand coming up from a variety of factors. And as you know, Daniela, they mentioned about things such as the Indian buying season. They are already astute about the benefits of gold and silver. But not only that, you're in the precursor production phase for things such as jewelry and other venues, including electronics for the uh, for the holiday season, both, uh, both in the United States and Christmas worldwide. So I think there's there's a lot of great potential here, definitely. All right. And just so to re uh, recap, Paul, uh, thirteen hundred dollar gold is your short term uh, target here for the metal. Absolutely. I, I think it has a strong chance to do it in the few, next few months. All right, Paul, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Good luck to your audience. Thank you. And thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.